Don't fall off. I got a new pair of shoes, so I thought it would be a really good uh, excuse to take the skateboards out. Also, I wanted to make a video about the boosted board because I sort of brushed over the fact that I got one got one a couple of weeks ago and I've been really excited about it and then it came and something bad happened so I've kind of been straying away from it but let's talk about that. Oh, it's still recording. Fuck. Don't skateboard and, and crutches and, and, and film. That's such, an, that's such a shame. Is it working? It seems to be working. Wait a sec. Yeah, so I got it about a couple of weeks ago and I was like, yeah, I've been skateboarding a lot more. And, and then it came and I was like really excited and yeah, but it was, it's actually really difficult to use on crutches. So I've only got one point of contact with the board. For me, it's impossible and put a lot of strain on my left leg, which is really, really painful. Which basically means I can't really ride it and I hate it when like, I fail at stuff and I feel a bit stupid for that. I can take to the high street back a couple of times. Do you want to give it a go? Oh my god. Nope. Go on, mate, nail it. I, I can't ride a skateboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're nailing it. You're a natural. Oh, we met these guys and they've just, uh, they've just stolen our booster board. Um, but yeah, we're going to get some coffee and some food and take it to the park. And I want to talk about like why I've really been avoiding the booster board because oh I hate kind of failing at things and I feel like not being able to ride it. I was like so excited about riding it and then and now I can't. I feel like I've I just feel a bit stupid. I just, I just feel like when you're on crutches and when you're like doing something stupid, you don't have to be on crutches, but when you're doing something that's like a bit out there and a bit stupid and a bit like you know, crazy. Like when I when I did my first Spartan race, I feel like it's the same. When I did it on crutches, it was like if you do it and you succeed and it's like awesome, then everyone's like, wow, well done, that's so cool. Like same with skateboarding on crutches, like great that you could skateboard on crutches, that's so cool. But then, but then if you try it and, and the result is like is what looks like failure, then it's like, like wow, that guy was stupid. Hey guys. <laughs> um, and so that's why I just feel a bit stupid about this whole like uh, boosted board thing because I just feel. Do you guys want to be in the video? Okay. Say hi. <laughs> and so that's what I'm sort of battling with with this uh, boosted board thing at the moment. It's like it's sort of. I love skateboarding, but I'm sort of hating this boosted board at the moment. Sorry. No worries. Hey guys! <laughs> Hi, can you turn this into a salmon and cream cheese bagel for me? Salmon and cream cheese. Thank you. Lunch. Operation Get Lunch was a complete success. Now to park to eat it. I just can't really ride it. Like when you're, you basically push the button and that makes it go forwards or then you roll it back and that makes it go backwards. And 
it's like really difficult coordinating which way I'm leaning with where I'm pushing the button. And the problem is, is that for most people they can do it fine because they've got two feet on the board. I'll show you. Also the controller itself is like, it's, it's great if you don't hold a crutch, but when you're holding onto a, a crutch as well, it's really difficult to, but carrying this one is like not an issue because I can hold it like this. It's, it's, it weighs like one or one and a half kilograms. It's like really light. And I can hold it on my crutches like that. So if I need to go upstairs or whatever it is, like I can do that quite easily. Or like walk really short distances. But like with the booster board, it's like seven kilograms. It's like so, so heavy. I can't really carry it on my crutches like this. And it's just like, I don't know, it becomes a pain in my ass. And it really annoys me when like I can't do things as you guys know and like I feel like there are really few things in life that I can't do that I give a shit about like obviously there are loads of things I can't do like I can't run and throw a javelin but I don't really care about that like motorbiking is like another thing I would love I would love to ride a motorbike like, my dad rides motorbikes and it's something that I've grown up around and not being able to do that really pisses me off and I think this booster board might be like a like another one of those things that's kind of like annoying me at the moment but I mean old school is fine right now I'm sort of like somewhere between is it focusing uh, should I sell it and give up on the boosted board or should I keep it and give it another go like I don't know I don't really feel like it's something that I'm able to do and I hate the idea of giving up on things but is it really giving up is it really giving up if I gave it a go, I tried my hardest, but just I physically can't really do it? I don't really think it is giving up. I think, I, you know, I tried my best, I tried my hardest. I, I, I failed at it, yes, but I don't really feel like it's giving up. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you keep pushing at something even if you don't really feel like it's something that you're physically able to do? Or you just draw a line somewhere and think, look, this is not for me, like, and accept it and move on to other cool things. You know, at the end of the day, I've still got this skateboard. It's not the end of the world. At least now I know that I gave it a go. This camera is taking a beating today.